There's a fish on that fish. You got fish on your rod. You're watching Kid Cochise Outdoors with Captain Mark Gary. How the hell did he get a captain's license? <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Captain's license. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Nah, nah. How you doing, folks? Captain Mark here, Kid Cochise Outdoors. Thank you for tuning in. Today's episode, it's going to be Russ on the Bass, part two, Dwa. Dose, whatever you want to say, whatever language you're from. Russ came out here, we near the 25 uh, fresh bunker, we went out to the piece, all right? Let me read my notes right now. Came out to the piece later, but we will have fresh bunkers in Tampa Bay. Chum. Here are a few more bass we released in 50 feet of water. All right, these are my, that's my script, all right? I don't play around. So I'm gonna be like, reading this thing. Oh, right now it says go back to Russ. All right, so let's go back to Russ. How you doing? Check it out. Set him up, set him, set him, quick, quick, quick. There you go, there you go, Russ. Set him up. Nope, nope. He's on it. He's on, he's on, he's on. He's on it. He's on, he's on, he's on. Set him good down. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's that thing is tugging. Wow. Why is that thing going so hard? Let him take that drag. He's on. You think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, we got a rock. What? A rock? A moving rock. This thing got hit, too. Yes. He's going up top. Just Where's deal those rods. rods. It's clear that, that if you go over. I'm under no, the you. rod goes under it, Mark. Mark, Mark I'm under you. You go under it. You got me, so I'm just going to let it go. I'm on you? Yep, no problem. Just right there. I'm not going to give you any strength. You're on. My old run, that's good too. Come on, we're not we're clear of each other. We're clear of each other. We should be, unless uh, we're tied on the no, fish tag. I'm yeah. just letting it go. Okay. You just tight that fish on He's coming off now. Okay, maybe yeah. not. Doing the Irish jig on the back of the boat. Yeah, just just open it. yours, Mark. I am. We yeah. Know, we actually twirled around. Come over. Guess what? I can't. I, Michael, you got the eyes. Let me see. Come, come. Bring yeah. it right over, Mike. Nope. The other way. Go the other way. That way. Keep doing that again. Time. Come over the top. There you go. You're clear. You're under me now. One more time. Nope. He's clear. He's nope. completely clear. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. This isn't Russ's first rodeo. Second. You got that net? I will. That looks all yeah, right. Same size. Yeah. Got him? Oh, I got him. This guy's not light. Quick is loose. No, he's not light. Oh. He's not light. Woo! You're on your own now, pal. Woo! Another one in. Another big boy in. Alright folks, welcome to the how-to portion of the video. Fortunately, we got Joey Tiles here, aka the Butcher of Smithtown. How you doing, ladies? <laughs> He's a ladies' man! You know, it has to do. You also got to stand by one of the Westies right here, so Irish get over guys. it. Can't, he can't hurt the guy. Alright, we're going to show you how we cut this bunker up, alright? How we bait it, and then we're going to just go to show you the terminal tackle too. How we go out there and we fish for these uh, bass, how we chunk and how we use circle hooks to catch these fish and release them safely, all right? So everybody take care, shake it easy. Joey Tiles, AKA the Butcher of Smithtown, will be cutting that bait for us right about now. All right, first we'll start with the head bait. All right, Joey's gonna put a nice beefy head bait. That's the primary bait that we use out here. And that's that. And then we're gonna do a body bait. Our body baits are thick baits, they're big baits. All right, and that's our body bait. All right, so I'm going to show you how to hook the body bait. All right, so the key thing with the body bait is we're going to rip the body out. We're going to puncture the heart. We're going to take the heart out. Hook the heart first. Have the heart hang on like that to the uh, hook. And then we're going to take the bait. And we're just going to pierce it on the top, very slight. Have the circle hook come through. Clear the barb. Make sure there's nothing blocking in those scales. And that's it, all right? All right, we want this to happen. We want that bait to free up and hook that bass, all right? 
different technique for the head, slightly different. I'm going to take the head. A lot of people do it from the mouth. The problem with the mouth is when you do that, you can't rip that hook out. You'll fail. And what happens is it winds up hooking itself like that. And you lose a lot of fish when the when the bass turns that bait in its mouth. You can hook live bait like that because the body of the large bait is in the gullet and it won't spin it. But bunker chunks in their mouth will spin. And sometimes what will happen, they'll just hook themselves like that. And you're going to come pull a bait in like that and lose a big bass, all right? So what we do for a head bait, on my boat at least, you can do whatever the hell you please. Now that was rude. Because we're going to take it, again, right above the spine, real slight, like that. Cast it out. And that fish hits gonna pull through it again all right freeing that bait either the bait's gonna go down the gullet or fly away but it's gonna free that hook up to hook up that fish all right so that's our uh, quick tip of the day everybody say hello to joey tiles the butcher of smithtown all right let's get back to the footage shake it easy squeeze it easy folks this next fish is a little interesting michael's on the what fish you got? Oh, isn't back nice out one? there is big johnny you know garfield the oh, cat yeah. and then we have another boat fish, coming too. in oh, yeah. rush is on i don't like letting everybody see that we're on fish like crazy. So we're kind of doing the old shenanigans, which everybody's done out there. Don't say you haven't. Faking that we don't have any fish on until this boat passes us. Sure enough, who is it? It's Joey Tiles. Good, fish him, fish him, fish him. <laughs> there you back go. on the bottom. Thanks, Joey. Okay. <laughs> well, this guy's ready. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> oh, switch. Going at it again. Tell me you're ready. All right, get that out. Get take deal with Rush. Oh, Let's, get that out. Let's get that out. Really, Rush has a decent fish. He's not as big. Back. Just take two steps back. Oh, you can't walk back? <laughs> yeah, Roger. There you go. Baseball. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs>Oh yeah, baby, what time is it? It's time for the con shout out. Bush, 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 bush. All right, that's the most important part of this video sometimes. You get some recognition out there for the Kid Coach Cheese Outdoor Nation viewers. All right, one of our con members over here, Dylan Moore, caught this beast of a bass. A little stutter right there. It's all right though. I'm working it out. I thought I heard somebody coming. I don't want to do this if I have to. You know, I do do that kung fu stuff, all right? Shake it easy. Come more, on. More, more. You want to see more of it? All right, let's see what I got. Thank you very much, all right? Got me distracted what right now. All right, you? so Dylan Moore chunked up a porgy, used the body bait over in the Mount Sinai area. I think he was in 40 feet of water and landed this nice 25 pounder. Congratulations to Dylan Moore. I'm not sure where he lives, but I think he lives to the east on Long Island. So let's everybody give him a shake of these and the high down. All right? Thanks, Dylan, for getting that video to us and that picture and uh, keep it up to good work. All right? Shake it easy. Let's go back to the fishing now, all right? We got to get off the con time. What? Is there something? There is something on there. There's definitely a sea bass on this one. I think it's the black sea bass. They changed the limits this year. They brought it up to 15 inches. I hope this makes it. <laughs> it's fighting like That's it could nice. be a sea like robin. A nice Foul hook. Cameraman, take Foul care of that for a second. A big, a big bird. Where's your weights there? How does that feel? Does it feel like a keeper? This one <laughs> made 28 inches. Bro. <laughs> At first, she started out pretty good. This boat doesn't fish correctly. I don't know if you know. <laughs> okay, right quick wash, a quick wash. The boys back know back home know what I do. Nice and clean. Come up top. Beast. Come on up top. All right, I'm not gonna throw that one out. They got a fish on the way. Yeah, they, I think they do. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah. Either that or they got an anchor. <laughs> that fish is up high, huh? That's yeah. good. I like that. Yeah. Uh, why don't you come around, I'll move. He's still back feels there. Like a decent fish. He's still back there. 
Now you're under. All yeah. Right. yeah, he's still, he's still there. He's still there. Yep. Yeah. He's still back there. It felt very good in the beginning, but now he's. Yeah, now he's not that big. Well, they there he There he goes. I think you got to go under, right? Uh, over. Under now. There you go. I feel you on him, so. Oh, oh. Am I? Nope, you just played me. Oh, no, you didn't. You no. got me. All right. It's a decent That's fish. I'm going to grab that. Can we get the net? Please. Are you going net? We're going to change roles here. We're changing roles. We're over here. We got to change. I don't see it, Mark. You definitely have it. Is it on it? Yep. We'll deal with it in a second. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Where have we seen you before? Yeah. Get a cool fish like this. That is a big, that's a big bass. That's a fish. That's a big one. Oh, jeez, please. What you got there? No. What is it? 25. 26. 27, easy. Yeah. The other one's bigger though, right? The other one. One was over, I think one pinned at 30. Yeah, yeah mine pinned. That bulk only goes so to 30. Let's get, I mean, I just don't want to cut it. Alright folks, thanks for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Like if you like. The like is right here, so you just gotta hit this like thing, all right? And something pops up and you say subscribe, all right? So do that stuff, all right? Because you gotta get inside the King Cochise Outdoors Nation. It's the car. You get there, you get all the videos from King Cochise Outdoors and the shenanigans that happens, all right? Catch a couple of fish, have a couple of laughs. That's what we're all about in King Cochise Outdoors. By far not the best fishermen that walk the planet. That's pretty obvious these guys are. I know that, but that's not important, all right? He They've been fishing did. together since they were babies. I know that. Hold on one second. Ow! <laughs> Alright, if it comes to that, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so shake it easy everybody. Take care, brush your hair, stay tuned. Heading out to Montauk uh, next week. We'll be doing the Montauk Monster 4, I believe it is. That should be some sick footage, some beast. We'll be looking to fish over hopefully 50 pounds. And uh, we'll be on the old freaking... And this young lady will help us out and find them, alright? So, uh, shake it easy. Thanks again for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, all right? If you haven't liked that video and you did like it, if you liked it, you like it. If you didn't like it, just don't worry about it, all right? Don't say anything. Keep it quiet, all right? Because there's no reason for you to get hurt, all right? Shake it easy. All right. Hey, folks. Thanks for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. All content herein is that of Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Now you sponsor. Take care. Appreciate it.